By now you should have reviewed the two videos on the Miller McIntyre Paradigm Prognostic Index and in that you found that smoking was a tremendous negative impact on long-term prognosis in treating paradigm patients. So I think that everyone in the healthcare profession, especially us dentists, should have some level of smoking cessation counseling. I'd like to say that this is not necessarily scientifically accurate but it is very clinically practical and keep that in mind as you watch it. So the patient that we're dealing with is a 68 year old male and you can see the smoking score here is a four. And by treating his disease and taking that four out, you can see the improvement of prognosis from a nine to a three. So a 75% success rate in keeping the teeth for 15 years or a 96% for 15 years basically impacted by smoking cessation as well as the treatment of the periodontal disease. Bill, first of all, I want to thank Dr. Jones for referring you over here for me to treat your periodontal disease. There's been some new research out where we can actually predict how successful periodontal treatment should be. And on a score of that, you have got, if we have treatment, about an 85% chance of keeping your teeth. But there's a fly in the ointment. Four of that eight is related to the amount that you're smoking. And we can lower your success rate. Uh, we can raise your success rate markedly if you'll stop smoking. Is this something that you would consider? Well, I don't want to lose my teeth. Yeah. But I've smoked almost all my entire adult life. I'm 68 years old. I want to, don't want to lose my teeth, but don't want to quit smoking. Well, you're about like most of the patients that I treat. But anyway, would you let me kind of give you about a two or three minutes sure. overlay on that? Because with the data that we have now, if you're a smoker and you have periodontal disease, you have a 243% greater chance of losing your teeth than a non-smoker. Now, that's a big number. Mm -hmm. And patients don't realize that smoking impacts the mouth. They know it's bad for the lungs. They know it's bad for the heart mm -hmm. and so forth and so on. So that's why I want to share this information with you. The 243% was some recent research that was published in 2015. So it's fairly new and that's why most dentists are not aware of it. But what we need to understand is how smoking works. For instance, the major thing, yes, we know about the nicotine, we know about this, but what happens when you take a drag off a cigarette, every blood vessel in your body constricts or narrows. So therefore the heavy smoker who has a heart attack with narrow vessels has a greater morbidity and dies at a greater rate than a non-smoker. Well, that's on the coronaries. The aorta does that to some degree, but as we come down to the very small vessels called capillaries, the capillaries in the gum, basically what they're doing is bringing oxygen to the tissues. That's what tissues, that's the food that tissues live on. Mm. So they constrict, so you're depriving the, the tissues of what they need to be healthy, as it were. Mm -hmm. But here's what people don't know. You also have little venules, capillaries on the other side, that where you get the exchange and the metabolic products in there, they are exchanged and the bad products are carried away by the little venule capillaries. Mm -hmm. Well, they constrict as well. So you got a double negative. First of all, you're depriving of oxygen and then you're poisoning yourself at the cellular level. Now this is a little bit gross, but it really makes an impact on patient. If you've got a three-year-old child that tugs at his mother's skirt and says, I gotta go to the bathroom, what's the first thing the mother says? Number one or number two? <laughs> well, what's happening at the cellular level is number two. So therefore, there's some real reason for stopping smoking. Now, as a healthcare professional, I'm not into smoking counseling but there's professional help out there by calling 1-800-QUIT-NOW where you can get counseling seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days. I'm gonna suggest that you call in on it. Do other members of your family smoke? Yes. Well, you might just do that together. And I'm not asking you to go cold turkey and quit like this. Most of the patients that I treat, if, if they're smoking a pack a day, when they come back several months later, they're down to a half a pack. And some of them can go cold turkey, but do whatever is necessary. And if you don't quit, I'm still gonna treat you. 
your result is not going to be as favorable. Favorable. I want to have to see you more often. We're going to have to retreat more often. So this will save you a lot of money to stop. Give it a thought. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Burton. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you, Carl? Good. I'm just going to start and take a look at your gum tissue. Okay. If you don't mind turning just a little towards me. Okay. Very good. Well, I can tell a remarkable difference in the health of your tissue. Mm. Have you done anything different? Uh, actually, I have. Uh, Dr. Miller has been, you know, encouraging me to quit smoking, and, and you have, and I've cut back quite a bit. Wow, I can uh, really tell a difference. Not completely. I'm working mm -hmm. on it, but it, it makes me feel good that my, health, my dental health looks better. And That's you can great. tell that I, much. I can. There's a lot less bleeding from yeah. the last I, time. I've noticed that. So wonderful. I'm still working on it, but I'm I'm getting her close. Oh, that's great. That is great. The video you have seen is not scientific, as we pointed out on the front end. It ha it is, however, very effective if it is done in the proper fashion. But what do we mean by the proper fashion? We're here to provide facts that the patient can understand and let them see how negative smoking is on their long-term prognosis. But you need to be patient. You'll notice this patient, six months later, had not completely quit, but was on the road to quitting. We need to be patient and let time work, and eventually many patients will stop smoking, and this may be even more important than the periodontal treatment that we render.